happy Friday. It's Sonia and Matt, and we are on the road early. Set the alarm for 6.30, both our alarms this morning. Needed to hit snooze. I will tell you, I'm feeling a little tired this morning, but you guys know that I'm definitely a night owl and not a rooster. What time did you go to bed last night? I think I went to bed last night, somewhere around maybe 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh-huh. So, yeah, I didn't get many hours of sleep. So, uh -huh. I got my coffee that you guys just saw me pour. So, easing into the day today. We're actually heading to our shop down in Ligonier. You guys know last weekend we relaunched the store. I got a load of good junk that I found yesterday to put out for this weekend for you guys to come pick. I'm excited to get that offloaded. I'll share with you guys what I found yesterday when I was out picking and junking. And uh, we'll get that tagged and put on the floor of the shop today. So, got some people coming in to pick up stuff from last week. They purchased some items um, that sold really quick. So, today we just get them all ready, we meet them all, and maybe we'll see some of you guys out there today. to the Salvation Army Thrift Store. I can't help but sing because inside there's treasures. Are you excited, Matt? Oh, you awesome. like You do like thrift stores. Don't, I do, don't let them I lie to you to, I got to if you're change, feeling it. I got to change out a light bulb right now. Okay, so this is the truth. We just blew a headlight here in the van, so Matt is going to switch that out while I get to thrift inside with you guys. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> you want to come with us, don't you? I know you do. Well, we made it to the shop and we are here before our opening at 11, so I've got a little bit of work to do. You may have seen me guys paint this one on Home Talk this past week. This was my project that I showed you guys how to do a weathered blend. So this one actually sold. I painted this the day before we had Fort Ligonier days and uh, it sold. Somebody saw it, loved it, and I'm like, I just gotta seal it. So it actually sold to Julie and she's coming back today. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, finish sanding and put a nice seal on this with banana peel and that way it will be ready for her for pickup today. Go back and watch that video guys. If you like this blend, this was uh, done using I Love You More and also Sandy Tan Toes to get a really cool look here. So I showed you how to do that quick technique on this one. The other one that sold is this piece over here. This was another one that I did on Home Talk and I didn't even get a chance to finish it. I brought it down here and somebody saw it. They wanted it 
And so I said, okay, come back. Let me go ahead and put handles. We're gonna put a little bird on here. It's gonna be beautiful. And it's funny because when I work on Home Talk, when I'm on when I'm on Home Talk, um, our classes, our tutorials are between 20 minutes and 30 minutes. And so there's a lot of stuff that you can do in 20 and 30 minutes. So there's not a lot of stuff that you can do in 20 or 30 minutes. God help me. <laughs> so when you see us, let me say that again. Let me just totally say that again. All right. going on the blue oh gosh. Yeah. So when we're on Home Talk, our time slot is to do tutorials between 20 and 30 minutes. And there's so much information that I do my best to cram in there, but we never get an entire furniture flip in 20 to 30 minutes, as you can imagine, but we get pretty darn far if you've seen those videos. So this piece back here, this is how far we got in 20 and 30 minutes flipping it from Brownie Brownie. So because she wants this, um, she is waiting for me to finish it up. So she's gonna pick it up later this afternoon. So that's the other thing I'm going to work on. And I think there was one more. Oh yeah, this piece over here sold. So I'm gonna get that ready for pickup today as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a bird silhouette stencil on here. My customer actually saw another piece that sold last week and she wanted the bird on here. So of course I can make her happy. Do you guys do that for your customers? If you guys um, are painters like me, somebody asked if they can have a little something to add it, I'd be more than happy to make my customer happy because at the end of the day, adding a little bird stencil, I love the stencil, I love to paint. Anyhow, here she is. Let's go ahead and add this bird silhouette right here, make it look super cute and super personalized for her. All right, so we've got a bird stencil down on the corner here. So before we seal, always get all your parts in place first. I'm gonna grab my vintage white, my chalky style paint, sticks to pretty much anything under the sun and it's so easy to stencil with. The other thing I'm gonna grab is a shabby chip brush. Guys, don't you just love how the sunshine is coming in this morning? Ah, I love it. So let's go into the vintage white here. I'm gonna go for just a nice faded look for her. So with the shabby chip brush, I can cheat and really get a cool distressed effect because the shabby chip brush doesn't give you complete coverage. It's just not one of those flowy brushes. So it skips, it shows you what's underneath which is an amazing tool if you're like me and you love shabby distressed. And all the paints, guys, and the tools I use, you can find on my website at junkmonkeypaint.com. And again, this is just vintage white. She actually saw this, the other piece had a white bird on it and loved it asked me if I could add it on this piece. And when I asked her what color, she's like, I really like that, but you can do whatever color you think looks good. So knowing that she really liked the pop of the cool bird on the other one in white, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to give her what she already liked, which was a nice light color. Can't wait to seal this piece. Oh my gosh, all these colors are gonna pop. Oh yeah. Love, love, love. I'm not even gonna put any more paint on my brush. I'm going very, very light, very, very light, just to get that faded look. Cool, I think I got all the main parts so people will know what the shape is. I think making sure you at least get your outline is important, because if it's faded, they gotta be able to tell what the object is, right? Real easy. So pretty. All right, you guys ready? Let's do it, this is the fun part. Ooh, she's gorgeous, she's gorgeous. And that is why they call me Stencil Sonia. Stencil Sonia, oh my gosh, it never gets old. Never gets old. Okay, I'm gonna work on the base down here. I gotta fix up a few little spots. Do you see that? That's because this was hiding in the back of my studio. And when I was painting, I was letting the paint fly. So easy peasy, we're gonna grab our Stormy Forest and uh, just fix this. Fix this gale up. We're just gonna brush it all over, freshen it up, and then I'll do a quick reseal. And just like that, she will be done. Okay, she is finished. 
with sealer on her. You can probably see it there in the sunlight. Now we're gonna go ahead and just let her completely dry and she'll be ready for pickup. Oh my gosh, ain't she gorgeous. Oh, love that. Whew. All right, let's take a break in between customers and see if we can get our Goodwill funds out of the bags and we can start deciding what we're gonna do, all that good stuff. Put it around the shop. I love picking for my customers that come into this shop and go, oh, I love that. I'm like, yeah, I did too. That's why I picked it for you. So I just had some phone calls and uh, some people are excited that we're back and reopen here in Ligonier. So they were checking to see if we were open. So I know that there will be customers again coming through that door at any time. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, all right, let's see here. So where should we start? How about this cool piece for a buck 99? I love this ceramic bowl, gravy, dipper, downer, upper, you know what I'm saying? I just love that right there. I thought it would be really cool too. Even like, um, I just, th just think it's really pretty to have pieces like this on your shelves. And I love vintage flair, love the old vintage stuff. But even thinking about like, if you want it, you could even use this as like a little planter and put a succulent in it or something like that. You know, if you really wanted to repurpose it. So for two bucks, I thought some of my customers would be like, oh yeah, so let's see who finds that first. I found a whole set of these. I thought they were absolutely gorgeous. I'm starting off with my little pieces first. You can tell these are what's in the two bags here below me. They packed it up quite nice, but I found three of these. It's like a, a rose pink top and a blue green face on them. Honestly, not sure if these are old or these are replicas, if these are like handmade. I don't even know, but I just thought they were beautiful and I got them for 99 cents a piece. So that was one. This is the second one. What would you guys do with these? We just put kind of, you know, and you know the whole thing of like things that three, let them be. So in terms of decorating, so three of these on a shelf would be really, really pretty just for decor. We're always curious to see how people use things. I have found things like teacups and brought them into my store when I'm at auctions and they all sell because people turn them into like, again, little succulent holders or little planters and things like that. They turn them into bird feeders. So if you have the right piece, somebody comes in and they got the vision and they turn it into whatever the heck they want. This was just a cool magazine rack, just a metal magazine rack. I'm going to paint this and do a dry brush on it and probably just put it in some fun color like teal or something like that. Then something so boring and plain becomes, ooh, I need that, I need that somebody else who loves color just like me and you. All right, so this is another bag. The lady at Goodwill put this in a, uh, a repurposable bag and it has the Marine Corps emblem on the front and she said, she gave this to me. She's like, you like the Marine Corps? As if like, you're gonna be okay if I put your stuff into this bag? And I'm like, I married a Marine. And she's like, Ooh! okay, so totally cool with that. So inside, let's see. I thought this was so cool. Got it for $1.99 and it is, I don't know what this is, Matt. Matt, I don't know what this is made out of. Matt's in the background. He's my person that can come tell me what it is. Is it tin? I don't know. All I know it's old and it's a rocking horse and I just thought it was a really cool find for a buck ninety nine. What is this made out of? Metal. It's called what? Pot metal. Pot metal. Oh, I remember. I remember reading about that. So this is, a, speaking of, of um, is this metal? I don't even know what this is. This is stainless steel maybe? What do you think this is, Matt? This could be silver plate. Oh, could be. There you go. So these were 99 cents a piece. I just knew they were cool and I loved them. So, you know, again, maybe somebody will go, ooh, I like that, put them together. And it's fun to decorate with just fun eclectic pieces that you find. This was another little set for, they were 99 cents a piece. And I grabbed those as well. So this would've been like a sugar bowl and the milk pour or out or what do you call this thing? That milk jug, sugar bowl. And what is this thing? It's creamer. Just creamer. Yeah. Creamer dish, milk dish. That no, doesn't sound right. What do you call this thing? If this is a sugar bowl, what is this? It's not cre creamer is what goes in it. What do you call this piece? There is a name. Somebody knows the name of it. Yeah. And it's something simple. And I just can't think of it right now. So those were those two. Found this set of candlesticks. These were a buck ninety nine a piece right here. And honestly, they're 
sure wooden ones and um, it almost looked like it came from like a Pier 1 Imports, that sort of store. Somebody probably donated them, was over them. So I can paint them when I get to them. If not, you know what? Somebody might just love them as they are or decide to take them home and paint them as well. So what do you guys think of those candlesticks? Again, say it with me. You can never have enough candlesticks holders, right? Like pillows. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this one. This one's a buck ninety-nine. Just a classic black one, and I'm gonna show you. I found this as well for $2.99, and this is a candle holder, which is really cool if you have like, just trying to think pumpkins around. Right now, this time of the year, just getting these and putting some pumpkins on it. Oh, beautiful! Just do a few little pieces, but I thought this was a kind of a cool piece. I might glue that onto it and maybe put a light inside of it. I thought that was kind of cool. Two separate pieces, paid $2.99 for this and $1.99 for this. So. But I was really thinking they could be really cool together. What do you guys think? Would that fit on that way? No. It would have to be glued on if it did. This actually sits into it though if I wanted to. So, pretty darn cool. One person's junk is another person's treasure. My treasures. All right, and the last thing in this bag is just a little tiny tin. And it's got, like, it looks like it's hammered. It's just one of those faux tins, you know? It's fake looking hammered and all old but it's still beautiful it's still beautiful so i thought this would be really pretty to put even some dried flowers in or something like that so i paid 99 cents for this and this is going to go on my store shelves all right the next set two pieces you saw my instagram last night i'm like look at those legs legs of two awesome tables that i picked and hauled home last night love 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 this set this is gonna be gorgeous. Um, if you've ever painted a set like this that has a beautiful Queen Anne legs, just those beautiful curves, you know that they never last long. So can't wait to flip those. Be sure to keep watching because you will see it all go down in action. Oh my gosh, and to find two matching ones, remember, when you find two matching end stands, grab them because the likelihood of them staying together and over the test of time is unlikely because one gets broken, one gets moved somewhere, you know what I mean. I also found this magnet board right here. When I first saw it, I'm like, what is that? And then it had these things stuck on it. I'm like, oh my gosh, if I had never seen those little, maybe somebody was using it for jewelry or something, I'm not sure, but it is a magnet board and I thought, Hmm, I don't know what I'll end up using it for. Maybe part of my store display. At the end of the day, I could definitely take my Junk Monkey um, Chalky Style paint and put a really cool, you know, just layer of paint over that fabric and maybe flip the center to Bahama Jade or just something fun just to kind of jazz it up. But yeah, and that frame, right? I got this for, I think, like, what was it? Somewhere around 4 or $5. And I got each of these stands, by the way, for $14.99 a piece. Matt is hauling in some other pieces that we found. This chair, I actually found a second one of it, and I got these chairs for $5.99 a piece. Somebody had already put um, a black paint on them, and I think that if I just go ahead and dry brush just a really pretty fun color over the top of that, it's kind of nice that somebody already did that. Overlook all this stuff right here. Oh, you can actually see what color it was before. So basically, all I'm gonna do is take a sand pad, buff off any loose pieces that wanna fall off, and then do a dry brush of a fun color. When you find even single chairs like this, that's just kind of cool, just to put a fun little pillow, put it in a corner, you got a beautiful little accent piece. So, that's gonna be fun, and there's two of them. Here is that other chair actually right here. And this is another little piece right here. This is just a magazine rack. So I think this would be really cool painted. I actually repurposed my magazine racks for myself. I have a bunch of them and then I'll sell the rest. But what I've done is I've painted them. I've uh, mob podged just some fun uh, papers like mixed media on the sides to really make it my style. And I use it to hold my art supplies, specifically my scrapbooking paper and just odds and ends like that because I do like doing mixed media on furniture. And so it's nice because I can lift it and it's all in one place. So we're gonna flip this together. Right now it's brownie frowny, but it won't be for long. I do love the fact that it has feet. I think that's pretty cool. And the next piece I got was this really cool wooden bookshelf. This was probably an expensive bookshelf that somebody purchased. And that's why I say you go to the thrift store 
one person's junk is another person's treasure. So I don't know, maybe I'll do some milk paint on this one. This one has a nice shiny finish onto it. Can you see that? And so I know that while the chalky style paint sticks and we can manipulate it and you know, wherever it's put to it stays, it's fun sometimes to pull out the milk paint when you've got some shiny surfaces and just do a really cool chippy effect. I think it will be really cool to put a fun color on here and let it chip and really reveal all this gorgeous wood right there. What do you guys think? And that concludes another wonderful haul. Another wonderful haul right here. So fun, so fun, and it never gets old. Does it, Matt? No. And <laughs> it never gets old. Matt keeps trying to run away from home. All right, guys, we are actually, speaking of we, we are going to hit the road and we are going to do the commute back up to home. It was an awesome day here at the store. We saw some lovely customers come in, help them with their paint needs. Man, it's so fun to come in and see what colors you guys pick or when we're filling orders online as well. It's just amazing how one box to the next box can be so different. We just all love different things, so tis the spice of life. Did you like what I found today when I was out junk in? Did you like what I hauled? Let me know what was your favorite piece. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for my daily vlogs and if you hit the bell, what it does is it sends you alerts to let you know every single time there is a new video that we just uploaded. See you guys tomorrow, bye.